Hi there, I'm Kristen Omdahl and I'm just getting ready for my day. You can see I just jumped in the shower and I want to show you how to apply Jamberry nail wraps. It takes about 10 minutes to put them on with a few little tips and tricks that I'll show you. And when you're done, there is no dry time, no maintenance time. I'm actually headed upstairs to go do my hair, blow dry it and set it and do whatever I need to do with my freshly done nails. So let me show you how I got it done. Let's get started. Okay, so I've already gotten started here, but real quick I want to go through with you. I'm going to use one of the new spring collection, the Mermaid Tails. I've already cut it in half so that I have the pieces set up for my right and left hand. I happen to know already which sizes work for my fingers, but if this is your first time doing it, you want to line up your fingers, fingernails with the sheet to see which size works with which fingers. And you want to make sure that it's a little narrower than your nail bed. If you go over onto the skin or onto your cuticle bed, they won't stay down and they'll peel back. So uh, what you're going to need is some alcohol wipes. I've already wiped down my tools, which is a pair of nail scissors, an orange stick, and uh, wiped down my nail beds. It's important that you use alcohol wipes and not nail polish remover because nail polish remover actually conflicts with the adhesives in the wraps. You want to use alcohol wipes for getting off the oils and that's how you'll get a nice secure bond. Um, so again, I've already started with my pinkies, but now I will show you what to do. We're gonna turn on the mini dryer. You can do this with your hair dryer, but I found that the $19 purchase of the mini dryer really helped me to get a lot quicker and more accurate with doing my nails. So it was worth the price for me. Um, a lot of people like to show you in the videos to pick these up with different tools. I find that because of the length of my nail bed, a lot of this excess is going to get cut off anyways. So it's actually much easier for me to pick it up from the center with my own fingernails, with my own fingers, and heat it up for three seconds or so and place it on to my nail bed. You want to make sure that you get it above the cuticle line so that it doesn't uh, attach to that because it will end up lifting and peeling. We're going to trim off the excess, which is basically the spot that I touched with my fingers. I'm going to put it in front of the heater one more time. Give it a nice press down. And then with your nail file, filing in only the one direction away from the nail, you'll get all the, the remaining excess peeled right off. There you go. Next nail is done. I'll do that same finger on my right hand now. Heat it up for about three or four seconds in front of the dryer. Place it down on your nail bed, making sure that you avoid your cuticle and the sides of your finger. And then I'm going to heat it up one more time. Give it another nice good push down. And I'll cut the excess off. And I'll start a pile with these throwing out when I'm done and we'll just file that in the opposite direction trying to go only in the one direction if you're new to doing uh, your wraps I would suggest sticking with the metallic or the shiny textures the glittery ones as pretty as they are they do have a little a slightly tougher learning curve I wouldn't uh, suggest using them for your first time doing it but once you've gotten a little bit of experience, like say maybe your third or fourth time doing it, then I would switch to doing the glittery ones. They're just a little bit thicker, so it's a little harder to um, file the excess off. There, so we've got the next nail on. Moving forward. Okay, I happen to know that my middle finger is wider than my index, so I'm going to place the next size up on my index finger. Cut the excess, get it back in front of the, the heater, press it down again, and file. Once you do this a few times, you'll really get the hang of it and you can get it done in just a few minutes. Certainly the first time will take longer, but once you get the hang of it, 
it really is the most convenient way to do your nails. Not to mention, who has time to do that kind of a print, right? <laughs> okay, on to the next one. Okay, I'm really close to my cuticle there, but if I give it a good scrape with my other opposite thumbnail, I can see that I am below the cuticle line now. Okay, we'll cut off the excess. And file. I started to see a little wrinkle in there, so I just want to smooth it right out. Okay. How did I do that? Oh, that's right. Okay. So we'll go to the next one. Cut off the excess. And file what's remaining off the edge of your nail bed. A sharp nail file works best. You'll notice that after they get a little dull, you will want to go to a new nail file. Go from middle finger next. Okay, I went a little too far over onto my finger. So I'll reposition. And I like to score it down with my opposite thumbnail just to make sure that it's not touching the skin, which it's not. Okay, so heat it up one more time, cut off the excess. And we'll file what's remaining off in one direction only. And one more. Okay, don't really need to cut much of that off. I think it might be easiest just to file this one. There we go, and it came right off. And the very best part about Jamberry is that you don't have to wait for these to dry. Oh, I've got one more to do. Get that one more on. But what I was gonna say is the very best part about Jamberry is that you absolutely do not need to wait for this to dry to do anything else. I have chosen to take a shower first, although you could certainly do this first and then take a shower right away. But what I've done is uh, done my nails first, or I took a shower, did my nails, my hair is still wet, I'm headed back into the bathroom to blow dry and style my hair with my freshly manicured nails because they are not dry. They do not need any dry time. They are ready to go as of right now. If you'd like to order any, you can follow the link in the description of the video. Thanks for watching.